Good morning, I thought I would do a little day in the life today. This is the first time I've probably filmed Papa. since since I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> now that it's all out. Um, <coughs> I <laughs> excuse me, not on my head. I um I did film on the day we had the first scan, but we d it wasn't really much exciting. I couldn't film in the scan, and we didn't really get up to much the rest of the day. So it seemed a bit, it wasn't a very exciting vlog. So I didn't bother posting that up. Um, but I thought I would do it today. Not feeling too bad. Yesterday and today, watch, 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 watch. Careful. Um, I feel so so much better so I'm praying wait c c c careful no that's not a good idea to do so I'm praying that this is the start of the second trimester glow and I'll be feeling much better so fingers crossed um come here <laughs> So we are heading up to my mum's today, gonna to go up to Peterhead and catch up with her. It's been not too yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing this? You're doing it just to me. Um I'm gonna come up here before she ends up knocking the camera over. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead to Peterhead. I'm just gonna go and get showered. Oh still tired, but not too bad. That was good. Oh, not as bad as I've been. So it's exciting news. Feeling, feeling excited to have it here, and it'll be com our family complete. Um, and we booked our gender scan yesterday, so a couple of weeks, and we'll be finding out what baby is. So I'm gonna go and get showered. Hopefully this one will play, and then we'll just kind of make our way up up the road. So catch us later. Hey, that's us in the car, ready to go. I don't have my makeup on, I'll do it at my mum's. Um, it's half past ten, a little later than I expected to leave. It's always the same, but I don't feel like I'm rushed or anything. Um, so we'll just leave. Olivia's in the back. She will be ready for a nap. Have a sleepy. And um, we'll head over. It's so much colder than I was expecting. It's supposed to be like really nice this weekend, but it's freezing. Um, so I'm not sure if we'll actually get a walk because it's so windy and it's not very nice to be out and about walking in that. And maybe end up going soft play. But it's just typical. It's supposed to be back nice Monday, Tuesday. What do you do? <laughs> Can't wait to be off again. <laughs> Catch us later. I've been in your waters Been knocking at your door
evening. I just haven't had a chance to vlog on here because by the time we got back, by the time we got through to Peterhead, and then we had some lunch and then we went out and it was just, it's just been mad, but we've had such a good day. Um, had a look, quick look around town, but it was so cold, so we didn't stay too long. And then we went to Aldi's and did our shopping. And then we went to, where did we go after that? Oh, the soft play. Took Olivia to the soft play, so she had an absolute ball, but she's tired. She's so done. Um, so we're just waiting to go and get her bath and ready for bed and then gonna head up the road and it hopefully just be a case of transferring her over to her bed and I'll be her for the night and I think I'll be don't think I'll be long out of my one because he's like squeeze me. I feel quite tired tonight so I'm just gonna go and get her bath. us in the car excuse the panda eyes pretty standard <laughs> this time of night after wearing all the makeup makeup kind of goes my eyes just get darker and darker but we're off olivia's bathed and ready for our bed eh? you gotta say night night say good night oh he's tired you gotta say good night <laughs> she's done so we'll go and get up the road see what craig's up to and we'll catch you later transfer done. One good thing about Olivia, she's always been so easy to transfer from a, cra a car or a pram into her bed or whatever you need to, whether it's a sofa or a pram. She's pretty easy at doing that so it makes things a lot e easier and that tends to be why I am um, oh I'm a bit of breath sorry, that tends to be why I if I'm going anywhere, I kind of tend to wait to stay till later and basically just get her ready for her bed. Put her in the car and then I know she'll sleep and it's just a case of transferring her to her bed and that'll be her all night or pretty much all night apart from maybe a couple of wake ups. But I've got everything else in. I'm just going to go and take the washing in. Craig's not here. He had his football today. He won, which was good. And. He is at the pub, so he knew I'd be late, so he says, oh, maybe just go to the pub for a bit. So, just waiting for him to come back and go and get this washing in and just sort out some of this stuff and sit down, because I'm tired now. I think I did not bad. I don't feel too bad today again, hopefully, so fingers crossed we're on the up. Um, but I'm just taking it each day as it comes. I feel a bit, bit sicky just now, so I'll probably go and get something to eat, um, something to drink, and see if that'll just take it away and then get ready for bed. <laughs> sorted I've got my pajamas on I've bun in here time to relax now I did want to show you my mum kindly gifted me some maternity clothes from Lidl so I just wanted to show you quickly because she got me these jeans which are so so comfy so it's just like skinny leggings um, well skinny jeggings and they're so comfy and they're so good quality like honestly would you think that would have come from next um, and they were $9.99, so I'm actually thinking about getting some more. Um, she got me a size 14, which when I tried them on, I thought, oh, they were absolutely fine. But I think they did loosen off a little wee bit um, during the day, especially around the waist. But I feel like, I feel like there's plenty, I think once the bump gets a lot bigger, um, I won't have like so much, like the quick felt a couple of times they were like slipping down. Um, just more like around the waist 
so I think maybe once the bump gets a bit bigger they'll stick up a bit more but they honestly are so so comfy and I really really like them so I'm so chuffed with that and she got me a t-shirt um, just a plain navy t-shirt it's obviously maternity so fine um, fine for movement that is a medium 14 to 16 which I'm, I think that looks fine. I haven't tried it on, but it looks pretty good. So it'll be fine and comfy for the summer just to stick on with my jeans or whatever. Um, I can't remember what cost she said that was, but I mean, considering the jeans were like £10, I mean, you're looking at like a fiver. So it's great for maternity clothes, especially considering some maternity, sorry, um, some maternity clothes are quite expensive. Um, I got a few things from Next and it was so so expensive um, and I know mother care can be quite pricey for clothes. I don't think I'll really be doing much maternity hauls. I think once the summer comes in I'm either going to buy, I'll, I'll probably just buy, like I'm thinking about getting like eBay dresses, you know like a couple of eBay dresses in a bigger size, just that'll fit and be nice and cool over the summer. So that is the plan, I think, and probably just some like Primark stuff, like oversized Primark stuff, because by the time it gets to the summer, I probably won't even want to wear jeans. It'll be like dresses or leggings and tops and like cool, cool things. But I was a bit sick. I bought a pair of jeans from Next. In fact, the leggings as well. I bought them both in a size 12 thinking that I would need it. But actually, I think I would have gotten away with a 10. Um, I think this time, although I'm putting on, I've obviously put on quite a bit of weight and I've got the bump. Um, I think Olivia is keeping me a lot fitter and this time I'm not in Indulging, like yes, I'm eating constantly and I'm probably not always eating the healthiest of foods But there's sometimes like I've been eating a lot more fruit like in the mornings I have I've been having like fruit salads and things so I'm, I'm not quite as bad as I was the last time anyway I'm gonna get on with this dress the last thing my mum got me from Lidl's was this maternity dress you probably can't see it it's like really dark navy it's got like short sleeves with a little tire. Oh, excuse me. Um, and obviously the ruched waist so the bump can go into it. Um, which I think is quite nice. It's just like a cottony material. It's um, like a stretched cotton material so it'll be quite fine. I don't know. What I don't know what I'd wear it with at the moment. I'd probably wear it more into the spring because I don't like have I don't have navy boots or I don't have tan boots to go with it. I actually think it might be quite nice with my Converse or trainers or that. So it might be more like a casual outfit more than like a worky outfit. Um because it is it is quite a loose fitting material. Do you know what I mean? It's it's casual more than like a dressy dress it's got it looks like it's got a scoop net i haven't actually tried it on but it's of, it looks like it's got more of a scoop net um which is quite nice and i think my mom got it in 14 to 16 which i said i have as i say i haven't tried it on but i think that'll do um i think she said that was seven pounds so that's really good so if you are um pregnant at the moment you're looking for some maternity clothes Widdles might have some in. Um, she said there was quite a lot like last week, but there wasn't a lot left. So you might be able to pick up a few bits and pieces. I'm going to go back into my local one um, next week and see if I can maybe pick up a few other bits and pieces because they're actually high, quite high quality for what they are. So that is that. I am going to go to bed. I really hope you've liked this video. I know I didn't vlog much in Peterhead. It's just really difficult because I don't really know. I don't really like doing it from my mum and dad. and I don't even know what they think about this. But anyway. Um, it's just giving you a little insight in what we've got up today. Obviously haven't done much vlog since, since I found out. It's been hard trying to keep it secret and obviously We've, I've been feeling so sick and tired. I just haven't felt up to even speaking to the camera or picking up the camera and filming. So 
I just, it's been the last few weeks most of January weekends was just right off so it wasn't a very exciting we didn't go out anywhere um obviously after Christmas we're all on a, like a saving sp spree of not spending um but hopefully I'll get back to doing some more regular weekend vlogs um I've also got our gender scan coming up and I will try and get caught up with all the videos I think I'm going to stick to doing a fortnightly update um, I was thinking about it on the way home and I think a fortnightly one's fine rather than weekly. Um, so, fingers crossed this uh, tri second trimester is bringing us, is bringing me feeling a lot better and hopefully the sickness will just gradually get better and better and I won't feel like the need to eat all the time. But I hope you've liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and if you are new I would absolutely love you to subscribe. Um, I upload on a Tuesday and a Friday. That's right, yes. Tuesday and a Friday. Um, lots of hauls and um, vlogs, days in life, weekend vlogs, parenting tips and parenting advice and what else would I do? Obviously pregnancy things. And there'll be lots of baby things coming as well. So lots of things to look forward to. So please hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you the next time. Bye.